Hi there. Ready to install your ZER6003AV-WS1-TM? Great. I'll walk you through the steps and throw in a few pro tips to save you some time and labor along the way. But before we do that, your flush valve should include these parts. Here are some of the recommended tools for installation. Okay, let's get started. First, shut off the main water supply. Measure the distance from the finished wall to the center of the fixture spud. If need be, cut your water pipe to be an inch and a quarter shorter than the measurement from the wall. Then, sweat on the adapter, as seen here, already installed. Slide the chrome tube over the water pipe. It should reach from the wall to the first thread on the adapter. If need be, cut the chrome tube to fit. Slide the cast wall escutcheon over the chrome tube all the way until it's flush against the wall. Then tighten the set screw with an Allen wrench. To ensure a watertight connection, wrap the threads on the adapter with PTFE pipe thread tape and or pipe thread sealer as desired. Thread the control stop valve onto the water supply pipe. Close the stop valve with your flathead screwdriver by turning the screw clockwise. It's crucial to do this before you turn on the main water supply. After you've verified that the control stop is closed, turn on the main water supply. Place a bucket next to the stop valve outlet. Slowly open the stop valve, turning the screw counterclockwise. Let approximately two gallons of water flush through the pipe and into the bucket. Then close the stop valve. Inspect the flush valve to make sure the stop ring is in place and the O-ring is seated within the O-ring groove at the end of the tailpiece. If need be, lubricate the O-ring with water. Insert the flush valve tailpiece into the control stop valve. Hand tighten the nut and secure the connection with a smooth jawed wrench. Determine the length of the vacuum breaker tube required to join the flush valve and the fixture spud. If need be, cut the vacuum breaker tube to fit. Insert the vacuum breaker into the top of the vacuum breaker tube. Then, from the bottom up, slide on the tube nut, the spud nut, the slip gasket, and the rubber washer. Place the spud escutcheon over the fixture spud. Then, insert the vacuum breaker tube into the fixture spud and up into place. Hand tighten the tube nut and the spud nut. Then secure all connections with your smooth jawed wrench. Use the 332 Allen wrench to loosen the internal set screw on the side of the valve cap. Remove the valve cap by turning it slightly counterclockwise and lifting straight up. Ensure the wire harness is disconnected before fully removing the cap. Flip the valve cap upside down. Loosen the battery compartment screw with your flathead screwdriver to remove the battery cap. Insert four AA batteries into the battery housing as depicted. Pro tip, do not mix lithium and alkaline batteries. Use one or the other. Reinstall the battery cap. Next, we'll connect the wire harness between the valve cap and valve body, as seen here. Reinstall the valve cap, making sure that the wire harness and wires are out of the way. Tighten the set screw on the valve cap with an Allen wrench to secure the valve cap into place. Next, open the control stop by turning the screw counterclockwise with your flathead screwdriver. This turns on the water supply to the flush valve. Then install the vandal resistant stop valve cover. Place a piece of cardboard or a light colored target at the desired sensor activation distance. Place the Zern magic magnet on top of the valve body's flat surface in this approximate location. The red status LED should illuminate for five seconds continuously. The valve will then enter calibration mode. After 10 quick LED flashes followed by a double flash, the new detection range will be calibrated and set. 
The valve has now entered range verification mode. Move the target back and forth from the sensor about 10 times. The LED will illuminate when the target is detected and then turn off when the target is out of range. Then remove the Zern magic magnet and your flush valve is ready for normal operation. I hope you found this installation video helpful. If you encountered issues, you can reach out to Zern's expert team for support. And check out our library of other how-to videos on our YouTube channel.